Yo, what's up guys, AFC here and welcome to a new video. We are going to be playing the Volcarona Golbat team. Um, in the previous battles, Volcarona, I, didn't, I wasn't able to get any Volcarona sweeps off. So hopefully we can get it today. Um, at least do something with Volcarona. Because uh, all it has been doing now is just existing. And in some cases it was obviously important like against certain scissors and stuff. But yeah, uh, oh, this takes long. First battle of the day. Anyway, wow! Oh, that actually, my team matches up really. My Volcarona matches up really well against his team. Against five of his members, I have super effective hits. So depending on the chandelier set as well, uh, Volcarona might might actually be able to get it off. Uh, I keep Oregon two in the back for the chandelier. Uh, in case it's like a subset with flash fire, but just leading with Volcarona seems really nice. Uh, as I, like I said, I do have a good matchup against five members of his team, and he leads up with the Rotom. I'm not sure what kind of Rotom is this. It's probably Choice Carve, but I don't see the downside of me clicking Bug Bus because even if he goes into, oh, he tricks me immediately. That's fine. I think he should die. Oh wait! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I still had XP share on this guy. <laughs> you know, guys, I'm a nice guy. I share my experience with the people. And yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to bug bust this again. Uh, just because I want to find out what kind of Chandelure this is. Like, if this is Joyce, I don't want him tricking my Porygon. And he actually goes for a substitute. Uh, that's fine. Uh, like I said, if it's sub call mind, uh, then Porygon was uh, provided that this is flash fire chandelier. Please don't be flame buddy. Please don't be flame buddy. Okay, we'll find out there. It's gonna go, cause. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it, guys. We're going into Porygon. Let's see. And we do indeed Trash Flash Fire as he goes for Shadow Ball on a normal type doing a Radium. He has learned. He has improved. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have Porygon in against Chandler. So I can easily break the sub because I did get the Spit Death Drop on him. But... I'm gonna teleport. Because he should know that there's no way that he would touch me, right? Or maybe he'll switch out or something. And I can... Because even if he stays in... Oh, wait, he has energy ball. What? Maybe he doesn't have Calm Mind. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go Hippo. I just want to negate his recovery from leftovers. Just keep him around at HP. Hmm. I need to figure out his other moves. Because he has Substitute, Energy Ball. So I'm just going to go back into Porygon. As he goes for Energy Ball again. He did show Shadow Ball as well, so I need to know if he has Flamethrower. Because if he doesn't have Flamethrower, if it's like... If, if it's Sub Call Might Energy Ball Shadow Ball, then I can play more aggressively with my Weavile, because I only need Weavile for this. But I want to keep my Borrigan healthy, because Borrigan needs to be a pivot into a Hydreigon now, uh, just because Volcarona received the Choice Scarf, which makes it really easy for him to pursue trap my Volcarona with his Tyranitar. Here I'm going directly into gold bed. If he has flame travel, we'll find out now. But my gold bed should easily be able to take this on. Just don't get spit that drop. Nice. Okay. I could have done this a few turns earlier, but <laughs> better late than never, right? So I'm spread burning just to break the sub, and he does indeed show flame thrower, so it's a sub. Up three attacks. I'm, wait, I'm actually faster than the guy. Okay, 
I get up my roast. Goes into Skarm. Um, is he is he going for the hazards immediately? I, I'm just gonna Brave Bird just to break the sturdy. Probably because I want to find out if he's Rocky Helmet as well as he indeed is. So as long as he doesn't click Roost, the sturdy is broken. I can debug. I don't know if this is double hazards. He already shot Stealth Rock. He does indeed go for spikes there. Okay. So double hazards. Maybe Roost. So he could be lacking an attack. I'm gonna Roost her myself. I wanna see if he roars me here or if he goes for Stealth Rock. Let's go for Stealth Rock. So I'm gonna debug on this turn. As he roars me, please roar me into something good. <laughs> he roars me into Hippo. Uh, that's not that. That's not ideal. But he must. He has to be. He, he, wait, he should roar, right? So he either doesn't have a roost or he doesn't have a brave bird. And if that's the case. I can easily break the Skarmory. I'm gonna set up my Stealth Rock. As he does the same. He's probably going for Spikes as well. Or maybe he's going for Roar. Maybe he's going for Roar. Anticipating my goal bet. So I'm actually gonna Roar myself. He should, he should go... He should Roar first, yeah? Okay, nice. Please Roar me to something good. Roars me into the Porygon. Hmm. I can actually freely discharge this. But he goes into Hydreigon. What? I mean, you should know that every Porygon pretty much has Ice Beam. Wait, they did nothing. Heck. <laughs> Leftovers. Okay. It's gonna Ice Beam. As he taunts me. Interesting. Wait! That did not... That's for Death High Dragon? Hold up. I'm gonna go hard, Mian Shao. There's no... That has to be for Death. That has to be for Death. I get Miesho in on his roost. I'm, cl I'm clicking close combat. As Skarmory comes in, I didn't care if Chandelure comes in because I have Stealth Rock up. But Skarmory? Wow. <laughs> Takes a lot. <laughs> and I don't really care if he pivots back into Chandelure. I'm clicking close combat again. As he does end up staying in. Cool. And now I get the crit. <laughs> He could have, he could have saved me a lot of HP by critting the first time. Whatever, though. Scissor comes in. I really hope he doesn't. It's not. I really hope it isn't Bandit Pursuit. <laughs> anyway, I have to go Hippo. I actually prefer it to be Bandit, uh, as I don't like facing Sword Stance Scissor in this situation. Because I have a Choice Scarf for Corona. He has Stealth Rock up, and he has the Run Entire in the back. If I lock myself into a fire tap on it to run into our switch, it's gonna be bad. But he does show sources. I'm gonna roar on his next sword. Wow, that is really greedy. Did he think that I didn't have roar on this? Anyway, I roar him into the chandelier. Okay, so he takes the stealth rock damage. I negate the leftovers with my sandstorm. So I guess energy ball could be coming my way. Going gold bed directly seems to be okay now. I only need gold bed for Chandler. And if he clicks, I'm also faster than the guy. Um, because I believe I roosted first. He does get the speed death drop though. Uh, that's kind of sucks. I think I prefer getting him, getting the defog though, since his Skarmory is gone. 
he shouldn't be able to knock me out with flamethrower anyway uh because i am quite specially defensive he <laughs> actually burns me luckily he didn't crit that flamethrower did so much because of the spit death drop and at this point i cannot go for roost because he will do too much damage so i just toxic him uh, I cannot miss Toxic because I'm a, I am a Poison type. As he clicks Substitute, perfect. So I hit the Toxic before he got the sub off. And what we can do here, uh, a bunch of things. I think going Miancha first. Uh, just get, getting a bit of Regenerator recovery. Because it might... Being full HP might matter against Scissor. So I just switch out there. Being full HP, because the Chandelier is poisoned, I know his whole moves that he doesn't have rest. And I can just bring in the Porygon and just re recover spam. And I still have the option of getting up Stealth Rock with the Bowden. But he does end up switching, goes directly into the Scissor. But he, he did reveal Source Dance. I might actually not need this guy at full HP, so I'm gonna teleport. Yeah, he was most likely going to click sources, but in case it was superpower, I didn't mind taking it. But now I just teleport. I can go Volk. I obviously. If I go for the pirate type attack, I can do a lot of damage. But he has a turn run and turn in the back, that's the thing. I, and I cannot switch up my moves because of the choice card. So I'm gonna double into Hippo. If he attacks me, he still takes Rocky Helmet damage. And he does end up doubling into the Chandelure, okay. So Chandelure is basically gone. Again, I'll just go Porygon 2. As he clicks energy ball again. And I think he's gonna die on the next turn, so to be in the best position, uh I th think just going for the teleport here. Cause I don't need Oregon at full HP at this point. So I just teleport. Shandler is gonna die to the sandstorm plus poison. And now I wanna threaten. I'm gonna go into the Mian Chao. I just don't know if that life warp chip is gonna matter against the uh, Scizor. So I actually. I, I'm actually not sure. Because I haven't seen him in attack, so he might be Life Warp. Yeah, he might actually knock me out, so I'm gonna go Hippo. There's, the possibility does exist. He actually ends up going for the Sword Stance, which is fine. Um... I'm just gonna stealth rock air as he U turns. And he is life warped, okay. Yeah, I just stealth rocked in case he was U turn. Uh, even if he was bullet punch, he needed to hit me. He still needed to hit me two times, and um, he would only be a threat if he was life warped. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I just I just went hard me and show because I really think this is this is a death high dragon. So I just knock him out here, and now he's kind of forced to go scissor again. And that scissor is now super low, and now I'm definitely in bullet punch range. So I can just go into my. Uh, Hippowden. I don't know if you're... I don't know if he's Roost. If he's Roost, he cannot knock me out from here. 
but he bullet punches me. So it's gonna be Rocky Helmet plus Life Orb. And he's gonna die on the next hit as well. I can just slack off here in case he goes for a roost. But he decides to attack. And he should die to the Life Orb and Rocky Helmet. And now only Tyranitar is left. And I can go Mianxiao first. If this is a Scarf Tyranitar and he knocks out my Mianxiao, I just have to wait a few turns until the Sandstorm ends and just hit him with the Scarf for, for Corona and bug buzz him. But he decides to forfeit here, so yeah. The possibility wasn't there. And yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I'm going to queue up for the next one. Um, but yeah, see you guys in a bit.